Good evening, friends. Welcome back to the channel. I do hope everyone's been having a good week. I've had a dramatic week. I'll leave that there for now. But we are back tonight with part four of Racing Lagoon. Last night I streamed this was Saturday. And yeah, like I say, a lot has happened since then. What happened? Um, uh, at the end of the last stream, it was a big dramatic ending. The best friend of the lead character seemed to be undergoing some form of zombification process and ended up driving into the sea and dying. At the same time, a guy who was critically injured in a stream before then succumbed to his wounds. And we're all going to cheer ourselves up by going for a nice street race, I think. <laughs> Dads and Mick Fliskin, welcome in. Thanks for the votes, guys. Hope you're doing well. Let's uh, carry on, shall we? And hey, Nabus. Black Demon has called me out for a duel. Oh, there was a new guy called the Black Demon as well. The Black Demon has called me out for a duel on the third Kaihin. Anywhere I should head to before the battle? Okay, so we're not giving free given free roam for this bit. Let's give it a go. Road ahead looks slippery. Let's do this. The rain pounds at my windshield. Oh, and that zombification thing that apparently afflicted our best pal is going to come for us because it's some form of racing addiction disease. I don't know. My wipers are losing the fight against the downpour. I can hardly see the road in front of me. Umbrellas everywhere you look. And there he was, waiting for me in North Yokohama. The Black Demon. Ready to feed on tonight's prey. Okay. Look at... I am going to kick his ass. His car's rubbish. I bet he's got some cheat in there. No. Come on, where's your turbo boosters, man? Where's the scripted defeat for my character? Body roll. Okay, this was very underwhelming. <laughs> black demon. I like black do one, mate. Easy.
That's ooh. Oh no. no. Rubbish! Should be ashamed of yourself, man. I've got plenty of reward points, so I'm gonna yoink his chassis. Sell it. Nope, nope, can't carry you anymore. I'll have his engine instead. I have a couple of new toys to show off today. So I'll probably save it for just before my first break. You ain't so tough. You really the black demon of the third Kai Hin? Yeah. It's feel nice and easy driving on a straight road. Any idiot can race in the Kanto region. You hardly need to steer. And a sore loser too. Maybe you're more of an imp than a demon. Ooh, real comedian this guy. I'm Genji Katsu of the Hakoni Drift Dancers. We have a message for you, Iki. Got the wrong guy. Now buzz off. I don't care who you are. Let him know that Miharu is waiting for him in Hakone. Iki will know what it means. <laughs> Iki's a loser. We can't run and hide like a coward any longer. Yeah, they're, they're a big fan of the shoulder pads in this. Nicky's a loser, but he can't run and hide like a coward any longer. Those are the words I was left with from the Drift Dancers. The world of street racing is ruthless. Lose even once and it can stick forever. Iki told me that once. I don't know why Iki refused to race with that guy from Hakone. But I felt like it was all connected. In some sinister way. Who was it that defeated Iki in Hakone? I could hardly comprehend anyone being faster than him. There are guys out there fast enough to strike fear into Iki's heart. Hiya, Skin. Shit, things are getting serious again. I was struggling to fight off the suspicions that were growing within me. I need to block it out. And trust in Iki. I could feel Kyoji and Makoto carrying on within me. I couldn't hear their voices, but it was like they were still here. They only died yesterday together. Racing by my side. I knew it deep inside. Bodies aren't even cold. I'm gonna confront Iki at his apartment later. If I didn't have the answer if he didn't have the answers I wanted, we would be through. The rain was coming down hard as I sped through the gentle turns of the third Kaihin. I had a strange feeling that something new had been born in this bleary rain. Oh, mate. They love a good reminisce in this game. But they've got uh, incredibly short memories. So there's not a lot to reminisce about. So you have some questions for me. Huh? Yeah. Who is Miharu? What happened in Hakone? What gave me that fear? Have I been living in fear? I guess you could say that. Iki, you can't just tell us that. You're our leader. You need to be different from us. Stronger. You showed us that there was a path to the world that lies beyond speed. You shared that dream with us, and now you're telling us you're afraid? Do you know how that makes the rest of us feel? Iki, the world beyond speed. They 
company, there are some people in the street racing world that have crossed a certain line. That line is the fear of death. There was something that made us human. That fear would be it. Those people who race without the fear of death in their heart, they could hardly be called human. I've raced against someone like that. It was like being dragged into a world of darkness beyond the human limit. On the winding roads of Mount Hakone, there was a demon who lacks that fear. A demon on Mount Hakone? Miharu Koguchi. The street racer carries the title, the Emperor of Hakone Pass. The only man who ever defeated me. Our race was two years ago. Two whole years. It was me and Miharu. Fighting over the title of Emperor. Race with incredible stakes. Street Racers, Holy Grounds, Hakone, 1997. Yeah, do something, game. Come on. Tell me, what would you do if you were tandem drifting and your partner couldn't keep up? What would I do? Mmm! Street racing ain't for hugs and happy feelings. Any jackass who slows me down and gets in my way could take a hike. They don't deserve to race on the same road as me. But if you could break formation, one of you could end up dead. You still try to break away from them? You heard right, and if I ever slowed you down, you have my permission to do you do the same. You put your lap times above the safety of your friends. Lap times, kid, racing gate about filling in some number on some charts. This is street racing we're talking about. These roads exist for one reason, to stretch on and on and let me race forever. Faster, stronger, further. I'll reach any height as long as this fiber is with me. We don't just race because the roads are here, we race because we exist. I am going to reach heights that no man has ever reached. The only competition a street racer has is with himself. We were so caught up in our race that we didn't see the oncoming elephant. Bonk. I slammed on the brakes hard. We didn't even notice. He just kept going. Never taking his eyes off the road in front of him. It's like he was the only car on the road. The beanbag. After that race, Miharu was crowned the Emperor of Hakone. And after that, how are they talking? I left Hakone for good. Oh, I, I saw an article about that skin. The, uh, the Bible Thump Emo is it's from a game and they licensed its use for 10 years. And they don't want to pay to license it again. Satisfied now? Don't worry too hard about it, Vinny. We're headed to Hakone tomorrow. I've already told Kenzo and Yuka. I'm not running away anymore. Haru and I are having another race. One more thing. Hakone was home to my mentor who taught me how to street race. He's raced for 10 years and taught me about the fastest legend. If you wanted to learn more about it, he might help you. This trip might be a refreshing change of pace. It'll take time to heal the pain of losing Kyoji and Makoto. And you'll need to learn how to take on fearless races like Miharu. Don't forget it, Vinny. You two have what it takes to cross the boundaries of speed. That's a good emote. <laughs> ah, the night is... That was a quick night. Hmm. Oh, 
I'm supposed to be doing another race. Right, I don't want this question answering, but I wonder how many knights there are. However, don't answer it because it would kind of, you know, inform me as to how far in the game I am. The undefeated. Damn it, McPliskin! Okay, so we're about 0.1% done. Welcome to Mick Pliskin. I'm going to bin that when I finally get a better one. <laughs> Kone. A web of mountain passes inhabited by demons. Iki feel, feared one such demon so much that he had never dared to battle him again. Miharu Kaguchi of the Drift Dancers, the Emperor of Hakone. Yet. Can't say I'm convinced. Something doesn't add up. Ziki have another reason to fear this place. We were brought here by some power, like puppets on strings. Power neither good nor evil. A power we can't escape. It's there, lurking deep within these mountains. Fuck me! And the demon's true form is revealed. Perhaps the truth will follow. If you had like a cutscene cut remover for this game, it'd be like 10 minutes long. You came all the way from Yokohama. That's a long haul, son. The street races holy grounds, AKA the hit. Ashibia's holy place. Ashibia is just another name for a street racer. I'm meeting some people there. Where can I find it? This is your first time in a Kone? Allow me to explain the roads plain and simple like. There are three main roads here. Take a left past this toll gate. You'll be on the Hakone Turnpike. It's a nice mix of corners and streets. Good for mounting past beginners. Go right from here. Then take another ride at the stoplight. You'll be on Route 1. That road's nothing but tech corners. Don't take it on unless you got the drift skills. If you head right but then go left at the stoplight, you'll be on the Hakone New Pass. Racing's not allowed there. If you need a break, you're in a rush. Take that road. Now for the holy grounds. Head down the Hakone Turnpike. Go left at the first light. That's the Drift Dancer's Turf. You best be careful going out that way, son. Phew, well that covers it. Have a safe road etiquette. Sharing is caring, yes sir. <laughs> You're the Yokohama BLR guy here to tango with the drift dancers. This spot's called Before Dawn Pass. That's because our team is made up of unknown races. But a day will come when they'll be calling this place the Holy Grounds. The Holy Grounds is wherever the fastest team calls home. We're the top team, and this will be the Holy Grounds. So until that day comes, we'll be here refining our skills. When did the Drift Dancers take the throne? Oh, must be about 10 years ago now. A guy named Manabu Oda 
returned from Yokohama and created the Drift Dancers. Corny Order is still a legend around here. But he retired about two years ago. Leaders of each team in Nikoni joined to form the Drift Dancers. They're the fastest team. Period. What the hell's the point in that? One day we'll rise up. Come dawn, that glorious star will climb over these mountains. And in that morning star, there will be Boo Yah. Word. We've been getting racing lessons from the Drift Dancer's vice captain, Ryo Yamazaki. But someday, we'll be the ones showing him how it's done. Drop by around midnight if you want to get in on some unofficial races. Should possibly do some street battles. Might have new parts. Premier Bean Bag. Hmm. Nah, he's rubbish. Don't get cares behind. Heavier and a weaker engine. Yeah, I've got auto gears on. Well, I, I was still manually shifting. Anything worth nicking. ECU for winding roads emphasizes pickup from mid range RPM. Hmm. Ooh, and better, better rims. I think those tires are. One I've got. ECU. Oh, then ECU. levels on that chassis and lacking parts. Piss and shit. Oh, saved it. Ish.
I'm glad we've left Yokohama at least, though. For a while, I was convinced the entire game would have been on those two maps, and uh, I could have got tiresome. Shit. That's my biggest frustration with this, is just how much the talking goes on for. I don't mind a bit of narrative, but Jesus, <laughs> they go on. No oh, plus plus acceleration. How about... find a shop, I probably need to offload some junk at the moment. Let's go and visit all the places. Learn, learn my new place. Tune Shop Windy. So Skin, have you done the tiny last bit of Gran Turismo 2 you've got to do? Got that hundo percento. Another beat over the Yokohama license plate, eh? Wait a sec, you're the GP contender for Bay Lagoon, ain't ya? Well, my manners, my name's Ryo, Ryo Yamazaki of the Kony Drift Dancers. I rock that red Celine S3. Sorry. But the passenger seat is reserved for premium hotties. I'm talking about 100 pound babes. The D Cup Gazongas. <laughs> Who are as pretty as I am. D Cup Gazongas. Gosh. I mean, you gotta have something to balance your weight for the downhill races. Looking at you, though, you might have to make do with a plain old ballast. That aside, this place is Tune Shop Windy. Windy or Windy? Oh, Takoni's legendary tuna, Kanitaru Takahashi. Ring any bells? But too bad. He's busy right now. Psst. Yeah, snoring. I bet he's having a nice dream about D Cup Gazongas. It's a pain in the ass to get him to work sometimes. I wanted to ask him for some advice before tonight's dance. Oh, well. If I'm facing you, then I won't need any, right? Ha ha ha! Zing, I'm saying you're bad at race driving. Take your time and shop around. Catch me later at the Holy Grounds. chassis get rid of them yeah I agree suspension boys are sus yeah I I'm very sure that is the case now this Oh, we can do remodeling here as well instead of having to go to a different shop. What have we got? Hmm. I haven't really got any 
chassis parts capacity at the moment. Ooh, the brakes. Maybe they are worth it. And racing slick. you finish that master system what was it called that master system platform you're playing at the moment Malice? or were playing psychic world didn't get any better a race okay yeah it's hard to judge master system games by modern standards i guess I've never heard of that. So what is Wise? Is it Wise Chronicles? Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, it sounded RPG-ish, and I don't really associate you with RPGs, so... Uses bump contact for attacks. Okay. Oh, sounds fun. But of course... RPG achievement sets take forever, so... <laughs> I can understand where I've got that impression from. Well, Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap more of a Metroidvania platformer than an RPG. I should sell that. I don't even have a rotary engine. Why am I holding that? I love Wonder Boy 3 though. Still got Master System copy, but I've also 
bought it on both, like, bought the uh, remake of it twice. I loved it that much. Oh, I ain't getting sold, that's mine. It's one of my favourite games of all time. Shabir's Village, a popular hot spring resort where visiting street racers soak their bones. Is it any good? Hell if I know. I can't spare the time to act like a tourist. Yeah, light it up. Your friends have just died. Hey, you. Have you seen them? Two 32 type R's with plates from out west. The drivers were total foxes and they were stacked like pancakes <laughs> they look like sisters too <laughs> two hot smoking hot Kansai sisters I'm losing my mind you'd go crazy too I bet boy and girl waiting opposite lanes red light the eyes meet a prelude to love and all too soon green light Men are calculating. We honk from behind. Put on some pressure. Chase a minute. This sounds a bit. Hmm. But women just melt away into the traffic. I'll never see them again. These things happen, I guess. Know what I mean? <sighs> Can't I cuties aside. How about a race before I hop in the spring? You know, we call it a race. It just boils down to which machine is more powerful. Now, if you want to separate the men from the boys, you've got to test your drifting. That's my philosophy. Can you take the heat in a drift battle or not? I've been babbling for damn near two hours now. Sure have. Point is, I thought long and hard about this stuff. So... How about this? Battle it out using each other's cars. We race once in our own car, then we swap and race again. No sweat for a true drift champ. It's pure. It's genius. It's drift time. And just so you know, I ain't a swindler or a jacker, so relax. Maybe you should consider becoming a jacker, mate. You might calm down a bit. Whee! Masturbation joke. So, are you a true gif... Gift? Drift champ. 20 quid for under by three. Oh. It's reasonable. I, I think it was one of the more popular games on the system, so... Probably doesn't have as much of a rarity premium as some games do. I was shocked the other week when I looked up the price of a copy of Cooler World. What's always in the top 10? Wonder Boy 3. Okay. But between Cooler World and the two Suikoden games, I got like 500 quid in three games there. I think I spent all of 50 quid total on the three of them. But the case for, uh, like I'm missing the manual for Suikoden 1 and the case is cracked. I think Suikoden 2 is in good nick, but I might be missing the Cooler World uh, manual as well. Yeah, Speaking of One was just second hand from my local game shop.
Oh, yeah. And this was, uh, you know, the, the condition hasn't got any worse since I bought it. You know, I look after my cases, but yeah, it was, wasn't in great nick when I bought it for £15 in the late 90s. Pretty slick. We got a win two in the row. Blah, blah, blah. I should have the Cooler World manual because I bought that game new. It was the other two I bought second hand. The Suikoden's. Oh, this car sucks. Wow. I'm going to have to to win this over two rounds. I'm going to have to detune my own car. No, I'm not. <laughs> make myself more beatable. Okay, this has a much lower center of gravity, so it's doing better in the twisty bits. It's just lacking power. I'm not selling sweeter than one. <laughs> I thought it was over 100, that. Well, saying that, that's probably mint condition, isn't it? My condition, yeah, probably 70 quid. And sweeter than two is always the big one. Okay, I am the Drift King. Bow down, peasants. Hmm. Wow, just paint. I give, I give, you're a hell of a driver. Hit me up for a rematch anytime. No. down here. Ah, oh, game save. Yawn. What do you want? I have one game save, please. Please, shopkeep. This is going to surprise you, Navis. No. Never heard of it. Is that like super rare, super expensive? How much does that run for? What, what? a grand PS1? Right. It's cool that they provided a no battles road on this. The new pass. There's nothing here worth going down for unless you just want to travel, but you know. It was one of my criticisms of Yokohama is sometimes I just wanted to travel and not get in a fight. 
Let's do an unofficial race with these beanbags. Oh, take on the drift dancers first. Okay. Fine, let's go and see the dancers. But that that just like surely no genuine PS1 collector has nostalgia for Cindy's fashion world. I'm going a bit off stereotype there. But it just backs up my what I always say that the bigger indicator of price is rarity and not quality of the game. And sure, it should be a factor, but the only reason Cindy's fashion world goes for a grand is because there are a bunch of people in the world who want to own every game on the PS1. And there's not a lot of copies of that about. You know? It's kind of sad. Okay. Who genuinely gives a shit about owning Cindy's fashion world? They'll, they'll spend a grand, put it on a shelf, and just leave it there. Why? But even then, I can't really have a go at them for hoarding it, because it's not like they're denying access to anyone, I think, who would want it. Limit limited run, known to be buggy, doesn't play on all models. Wow. Yeah. So I can't even begrudge them for it, because they're not. it's not like they're denying anybody anything. When Suikoden 2 is knocking around for 200 quid plus, a lot of people wanted to play it. It wasn't just rare, it was rare and good. But the only value is the rarity. It's so weird. And there's, there's a bit of shovelware. Um. Hmm, you know what, I'm just going to save my reward points. Oh, there's a PC version of Cindy's Fashion World as well, so that even further emphasizes the fact that nobody's being denied by people who collect for collection's sake so yeah fuck it more power to him hello ladies I know you're ladies because you're in a pink car Evans Hill. Home to an idiotic superstition. Couples who watch the stars here are guaranteed to form a cosmic bond. And that nonsense is why a car is parked over there. I mean, saying that collection doesn't really deny anybody access in the age of emulation anyway. But I'm not an asshole. I'll leave them alone. Yeah. So a bit more power to him, have your fun, lads. As she rears Holy Road. Street races holy grounds. Promised land revered by the racers who prowl the pass. Only the fastest team has the right to call their turf the holy grounds. Now it's here. The Drift Dancer's home base bears that sacred moniker. As we wait anxiously to do battle, our idling engines echo in the still of the night. I guess I'll rise to battle. This is my first duel with the Drift Dancers. 
Not about to turn back now, for I am ready. Yeah, and I have always made the argument with my use of emulation is that with the vast, 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 vast majority of the games in this challenge, there is no way I can purchase them in a way that actually benefits the right hold rights holders. I think I can think of two games where that's not true. Rally Cross, because it's been released for digital download on the PlayStation. Oh, three? Three? Yeah, Rally Cross, available on the PlayStation Store. Like literally just a straight port, not even a remaster. Um, Crash Team Racing, there's the remake on the PS4, and I already own that, so whatever. And the other one, I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay for this out of uh, principle. Bug Riders. <laughs> Remember, someone found it on Steam. <laughs> And literally, someone must have just got the rights, found the rights to it somewhere down the back of the sofa or something, and just shoved it on Steam because I think it only costs 100 quid to list a game there. Oh, they really wouldn't have us. One of the worst things I've ever played. Anyway, it's been two whole years. You look well, aren't you, gentlemen? Spare me the small talk. You haven't changed a bit, Miharu. We had unfinished business for two years. Have you figured it out yet? Street racing is so much more than lap times and records. These roads exist for one reason. Stretch on and on and let me race forever. Very egocentric view of the universe there, Miharu. Faster. Stronger, further. I'll reach any height as long as this fire burns within me. The only competition a street racer has is with himself. These mountain roads are begging to be raced on. How about a team battle to warm up? Let's see what your little ragtag team can do. So when do you race with a team? The team is just for show. They let people know that I'm the fastest beast in Hakone. You know what I'm saying? I'm cocky as ever. The team battle will be raced on the holy road, uphill. And you and I will have our time and battle downhill. Practice however you like in the meantime. Don't come crying later that you didn't learn the course. I could practice the course. Meh. You sure you're ready? I'll, I'll drop a cheeky little save, I think. Come on, game.
Oh gosh. Oh, of course, team race, isn't it? See you later, beanbags. Oh. Not want to stop sliding. I just haven't got the hang of drifting in this game. These tight courses demand it. Nope. No, you don't. Ah, take that, drift dancers. I like grift dancers. I don't know. I tried. I think we're getting some narrative played over the replay. Mandatory viewing, I guess. That wasn't half bad. Get your skills sharp, have you? I know you won't go all out unless it's a time and race. The real battle begins now. Downhill time and battle. Just like that time. Without any oncoming cars to spoil our fun this time. It's been long enough. Let's settle it. Miharu, hold up. Where do you get to have all the fun? This dude and I should have a race. Join me for a dance, won't you, cutie? It's always a show before the main event. You're on. Feels like every time the hot one challenges me to a battle. I'm just the opening act. Warming up the road before Iki steps onto it. You literally just volunteered, you prick. <laughs> First time. I felt like I'd had enough of playing second fiddle. She just volunteered! There was a new feeling welling up from within me. Shit is getting serious again. I've grown a lot in the 24 hours since my two friends died. I was supposed to be worried about... Sorry, 48 hours now. I was supposed to be worried about Iki and his history here. That worry has vanished. Along with the old me. It was a strange feeling I had. Maybe this is the power that Mount Hakone holds. The power to turn men into demons of the road. Fucking hell, guys, come on.
Scandinavian flicks welcome here. Is it really about a body roll? It'd be prime time. I'd be giving Squaresoft too much credit. Doesn't look like I need to use the regular brake. It can just kind of charge in and hit the handbrake. Misread read the mini map there and used the normal brake, but have a convincing lead. It's fine. He swears a nice one. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> Would not like, like with how punishing track limits are on this, I would not like a narrow road. That should be enough to warm up the road. It's already time for me to exit the stage. Focus had already turned to the two cars lined up at the starting line. The main event was starting at the starting line and once again I had to sit it out because I had already started my race and indeed completed it too. The 8-6 I drove back before I left. Do you remember it? That hunk of crap. I let Vinny have it. He's turned it into a real racing machine. You always think about your friends, aren't you? This friend of yours isn't hiding something from us, is he? Nope. What about that fastest legend of legend? Found him yet? That's why you left the Yokohama, isn't it? Yeah. So it was just a bullshit excuse to skip out on us. I get it. You couldn't handle being out here in the sticks. I had to pick up the pieces and be the leader after you ditched us. Unbelievably fast racers are out there in Yokohama. I need to race them. Bullshit. If you wanted out of a Kony, you could have just told us. You sure showed us how much you cared about your friends back then. Enough. That was a long time ago. Nice turbo. Yunk. Oh, is it? Is it even? Three thousand, six thousand. Okay, it's not a nice turbo. Two demons and lined up on the starting line. The sound of their engines heralded the changing winds of destiny. It was a powerful sight that rendered the crowd speechless. I was thinking about this the other day. What we're seeing with this game is the difference between a translation and a localization. I think if Squaresoft had paid to have this localized into English, they would have well cut down on the rambling chatter. Which one's which? But I did what I said I would after the first stream. I found the Patreon of the team who did this translation and I sent him a tenor. You've gotten faster. You're shining brighter than ever. I'm not the same man I was two years ago. I spent all this time practicing. Must have gotten lonely out there. I have my friends, and you do too. Once you've mastered the sport, then you'll know what I mean. When I race, I can feel the presence. Not their car, but the person they are. I'm never alone when I race. How will you feel when there's no one left to overtake? You haven't thought that far ahead? You'll find out soon enough. Whatever, just lay off. 
Once that load lane starts to sink in, that's when you finally made it to the top. I got the feeling you aren't going to admit defeat. Not happy with how I race? I'm still pissed off at your lies and cowardice! Despite all my protestations of not needing friendship. But I'll admit it, you've gotten even faster than me. You're going to enter a realm of speed that even I can't reach. But that's okay. I'm going to keep continuing on my own path. Yokohama GP is coming up. You'll be there, right? Yeah, count on it. Okay, so Iki won. One last thing, Iki. Manabu has hopped back in the driver's seat recently. He said that he quit for good. But maybe he had a hunch that he'd come crawling back. We should have a chat with him. I'll be here later tonight. Is that so? I have some questions for him. So the sleeping emperor has awoken. The night is complete. Ted. Oh yeah, it's a JRPG. It, it'll, the stakes will only stop r rising once I once I take on God in a drift battle down the heavenly highway. from the dark okay so it isn't a new night I think it's just later in the night so the night wasn't completed at all the game lied to me it's bullshit man I spent the whole night in my car the crisp mountain air was starting to get chilly vanilla a lot of those thoughts are swimming around in my head where my thoughts normally like to swim. Kyoji's death. Makoto's death. A string of street racing accidents. The mystery behind Yokohama's fastest legend. It was too much to try and make sense of. We'd go stir crazy if we let it fester in our minds. Kony had become a battlefield. Nikki had already claimed victory. Challenge Iki. Same old, same old. Hey, Krakaton. One thing had changed. A new feeling was born within me. I needed to escape out from under Iki's shadow. Grow my own wings. Car! I'd need to race faster than ever before, or I'd never break free. I stayed behind in Hakone to meet with Manabu Oda, Iki's old mentor. Iki had also left a little gift for me at Tune Shop Windy. Oh, it's something from Hakoni's master tuner, Kuniteru Takahashi. Iki might just be buttering me up. A tasty worm at the end of a sharp hook. But I think the little extra bonus. I deserve the little extra bonus. Hey, Shadow! 
Hey Parnell, so spend a night in the car, I guess it's contract exchange film. Yeah, yeah. The bullshit hasn't stopped since Monday. I'll fill you all in in a moment. Oh, I'll fill you all in now since we're breaking the story. Shadow, uh, game's ticking over. It's more of the same. We've pretty much immediately moved to a new area. You know, we're getting over the deaths of our friends in racing accidents by doing more racing. <laughs> yes. Have you ever considered writing noir novels? I could do with a new hobby. <laughs> right, house bullshit. So for those who don't know, on the coach back from the gig in London on Monday, I had a phone call from my... Let me take the timer off, actually. Fuck it. Yeah, I had a phone call from my estate agent and um, the seller of the house I was trying to buy have withdrawn because they've decided they want to move into it. So, eight months of my life, down the shitter. Fuck me, right? But because I was on a coach, there wasn't a lot I could do about it at that time. I wasn't going to get home till 6pm. So I told the estate agent on the phone, please call me in the morning and we'll take it from there. Anyway, uh, didn't get a call the next morning. I tried ringing them about 10 times that day. Didn't get a response. Complete waste of a day off on my end. And I'm getting very hysterical because uh, I'm at risk of losing my buyer. If I lose my buyer, I'm back to square one. I think I'm back to square one. But yeah, I finally, on Wednesday morning, <laughs> I'm back in work after a long weekend. Finally managed to get back through to, to this bastard of an estate agent. And he hadn't spoken to my buyer yet. What I wanted to know was, are they still interested in buying my flat despite the new delay? Because if not, I'm just going to give up on trying to move house. You know, and there's no point me looking at new properties or putting in offers on new properties if I've lost my buyer because I no longer have proof of funds. And he hadn't done any of that shit. So set him on that task. You now talk to the buyer. Let me know. Uh, yeah, so this, this mo uh, towards the end, I also had a bit of a meltdown yesterday morning because I went back into work and there was just loads of shit waiting for me. I had to go into a meeting with representatives from HMRC this morning. Just absolutely no warning. <laughs> and I was not ready. I had a big meltdown yesterday morning. I messaged my immediate superior and asked him to sack me. I was in a really bad place. This morning, about half eleven, I got a message from the solicitor dealing with the sale of my flat. Apparently, this is ready to sell now. And the solicitor for my flat's buyer had suggested a date of the final Monday of October. Would that be workable for me? So clearly, neither my estate agent or the solicitor doing the purchase of the house that had fallen through and who works for the same company as this solicitor had deigned to tell him that my onward purchase had fallen apart. So I had to ring him up and explain and... Just more bullshit. And so I've told him my, my position. If they're willing to hang on, I will hurry... I will try and find another place. But I haven't heard back from him either. And yeah, here, here I am. I, I, I'm about, I'm going Blackpool tomorrow. I'm in Blackpool for two nights, back in Manchester for one night. Then I'm up to Kilmarnock on Monday. Oh, thanks, Barnell. So I can't do anything on Monday and Tuesday. I come back Tuesday evening and... And I don't. I think my buyers are gonna withdraw. A work, a work thing, Nabus. It's a work job. I'm, I'm having to go to a new client and tell them all about how wonderful our software is. Bought it through Purple Bricks. Gosh. Well, isn't that the point of Purple Bricks? It's <laughs> no help. Saying that, it feels like I'm doing most of the work. I don't know. 
Yeah, so that's it. I have not heard back. I'm probably going to get a call at the most inconvenient time and say, chop, chop, get hunting. It's like, well, I would have loved to have known on Tuesday when I had the whole day off. I could have had a raft of uh, booking uh, viewings books. I could have done them all tomorrow before I go to Blackpool for the weekend. I don't know. So that's it. Solicitor wasn't put... Yeah, the solicitors are shit. Solicitors were all shit. That's what I'm learning. Estate agents were all shit. Solicitors were all shit. And I just want this over. I, I've... Sorry, Skin. I've just been telling the story of uh, my house move. It's fallen apart. It's the short version. It's fallen apart in a sea of bullshit is the medium version. Oh, you do, mate. But I'm kind of resolved, like just accepted that I'm going to be staying here now. So I just want to know for sure I'll get the fiber broadband installed at last. Another thing I bought, re not recently, another thing I bought, you know, um, the fourth monitor stands you get for for simulators. I bought one of those thinking, because they were on special offer. I, I, I thought they were kind of going out of, uh, yeah, I bought one with the intention of, oh, I'll set it up once I've moved. No point equipping it now. I'm about to move. So it's been sat in a box. I'll probably keep chat where it is. It's better on the left monitor. But I can have, like, OBS above. So it means I'm not blind from, say, internet wobbles and shit like that, like I used to be. Or I can have other stuff up there, you know. But I bought this, and just before the stream, I decided to check my emails and double-check when I bought it. May. Beginning of May, I've had that fucking stand sat in a box waiting to travel. Because for the last five or six months, I've been two weeks away from moving house. <sighs> and yeah, I, I, I'm kind of... I'm at the point now where... I'm looking forward to being told I'm not moving just so I can do something else with my life, you know? Just so I can give up on this charade. And, yeah. I'll be honest, like, I've, I've been of the opinion if my, if my sale falls through, I'll give up until at least next year. In all honesty, I can see myself waiting until 2026 because I've... This, this year's been almost a write-off for me. And I don't want to risk that happening to next year as well, because I, I don't think I could cope with two write-off years in a row. Anyway, I think that's enough of that. Other things that have happened this week. A little more interesting, a little more uh, relating to gaming. So I, I told you all a couple of weeks ago, I bought this... Uh, it's Ambernic, yeah? And it, I was saying how it's a bit awkward because these buttons are a bit close to the edge, so, you know, you don't get much clearance with your thumbs. And the shoulder buttons in particular that you can see there, like if I'm holding it like that, I have to really hook my fingers to use them. Uh, there was three varieties. You can get kind of a grey Game Boy-style one. There was a transparent purple like a Game Boy, like styled off a Game Boy Color, or there's wood. You had three options. I, I'm not gonna, I, I don't like wood as a style. I, I, I like wood as trees, but you know, as, as a style, I'm not a fan. Anyway, I've, I've given it a butt implant. <laughs> I had a little bit of a faff getting this as well. So it's basically just a grip. Just holds it. And it's great because A, it just kind of moves my hand away from the buttons a bit and makes it a bit more natural to hold. And particularly at the back, I'm not having to hook my fingers as much now, as you can see. So yeah, a nice fat bum. Isn't that great? Um, they sell on Etsy. It's 3D printed. It, they sell on Etsy for 20 quid. But the guy who's 
done it, lives in America, and it was going to cost me another 15 quid to have it posted from America. But he also was selling the the 3D print file for four pounds. So I bought that and basically just went on Facebook, found a friend with a 3D printer and got him to do it for me. And then I ended up giving him 20 quid for materials plus postage plus like 15 of that was a thank you bung. So in the end, I've only saved 11 quid by going through all that faff. But yeah, it's a lot nicer to hold now. So that's cool. It's just, it's just a shame he didn't act a little faster and get it to me before I spent over 10 hours on a coach last weekend. But, you know, <laughs> some beggars, beggars can't be choosers. The last bit of good news is I got a little present from a friend. Um, so Navis, as you all know, he's uh, he made a point that PlayStation games, the cases for PlayStation games are fucking shit because they break really easy, the dual case plastic. And uh, so what he has started doing is kind of doing DVD case versions of PS1 boxes. And he has very, very kindly sent me this. How cool's that? I just kind of refactored the the game artwork to fit the DVD case properties and even I'll just move these out of the way even sent me the bloody game what a lad yeah beautiful I'm absolutely made up with that because yeah, you know, anyone who's been watching a while knows Ridge Racer Type 4 has been my favourite game of the challenge I had been intending to buy a PS1 copy for myself. But you know me, I, I, I say things and I forget them immediately. I like the feel of the paper. Hey, it's hidden by plastic, mate. I hadn't gone for a molest of the paper. Let's do that. Let's have a feel. Yeah, get, get my hand in. Get my hand in. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very thick, isn't it? That's really substantial. Hmm. Yeah, you do mention it's a little stretched at the bottom skin, but, you know, he's got to make artistic, creative decisions to fill the space there. You know. But no, I am... Um, that is super cool. I love that. And he has sent the uh, PS1 box innards as well. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm absolutely made up. Have you considered setting up an Etsy shop for these or something like that? <laughs> All right, let me pack that away. I'm just going to take it. Right, so I've... Yeah, that, that's that's me done with the story time for tonight, guys. <laughs> I've told you all about the house bullshit. All about my Ambernick's new fat bottom. All about the super cool Ridge Race of Type 4 DVD case. Oh, I've still got half of this drink, but we were at a break in the story, so... Yeah, I'm going to take a quick break. Not enough designs yet. Well, I mean, you could just like let people... tell you what games they need doing, couldn't you? Anyway, I'll be right back, and then we're going to continue with Racing Lagoon. Cool.
Right, I'm back now, guys. Let's uh, carry on with this, shall we? Yeah, so... Oh, let me just kill this bot. Fortuitous timing. Yeah. So somewhat what I was just saying about the house move. Well, yeah, as a lot of things been held up with that. And one of the big things was the channel refresh that was waiting for the house move. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to look to finish that and finally rename the channel, show the new display that, again, I made about six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, they... they, they posted immediately as I went back live, so I hadn't even started playing again. It was really nice timing. Um, yep, yep, yep. Give me that suspension. Got a few new ones done, you're saying. I was, so does that mean you're uh, intending to do your whole PS1 collection in PS2 cases? Oh, we need to go to the shop, don't we? Then every game you have. Okay. How many PS1 games do you have? What's that? Looking for Hakone's famous tune of Kuniteru Takahashi? That'd be me. And I'm KT. Wait, just a doggone minute. Iki sent you. Only around 40. Well, you got more than me. A lot more than me. <laughs> ah, I see. You're two racing on the same team? Well, we can't chat until we've had a race. That's how things were done back in the old days. Oh, I'm just checking. Yeah. We'll race on Route 1 downhill. How's that sounding? What's your favorite out of your 40 games? The Italian's a decade ahead of the day. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is quite an even match. Ah, uh, yeah, that. I'm glad I've fit, been able to fit that suspension. Much less body roll now. This is handling so much nicer. Look at that. Graceful like a salmon. Well, touring cars, fair. And you said that was one of your favourites when I was asking about your uh, retro achievement exploits. So, absolutely fine choice. Shadow with the important questions. No, no, 
Nabba still loves Toka World Touring Cars now. It, the nostalgia bonus points probably don't barely wiggle the dial. All right, you pass. Now that we've shared the road, we have a special bond. I know just what you're capable of now. Now don't go taking this the wrong way. We'll come back later when Iki's with you. Now you just made me do the trial race and you're still not going to give me my present. What a beanbag. Body level up. Oh, what we're going to steal. I think it. We're, we're, if nothing else, we at least get the new wheel rim. Well, that's some interesting stuff here. I don't know what any of it means. Because <laughs> can't be bothered. Oh, let's just take the win rims. Have you done any more F1 2019, Shadow? What happened with your Canadian GP? And that, and you're enabling flashbacks after you're having a go at me for disabling damage in F197. <laughs> I mean, surely you just need to get good, right? Tell you what, what I'll do, Skin. Just for you. If I remember. You know what? I'm not promising because I'm a busy boy and I'm incredibly forgetful. But I will do a Bible Thump adjacent emote and I'll replace that horrible pink heart with it. But at least you'll be able to use it here as the follower emote. Go for your final pit stop out of the chicane before the hairpin. The car out of nowhere just ramped up the revs. As if you were on the grass and spun you into the barrier. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, does the F1 games... St like, I remember the... 2011, 12, 13 F1 games. You, you had kind of a limited resource of flashbacks. I.e. you get like three or something. I thought that was a really nice way to do it. In that, you know, you had your get out of jail free card, but it was a limited resource. I don't like unlimited flashbacks because that's just no fun. You know, you just go full yeet into every corner and you just, like, flashback in every corner. But when it's, like, just a, a... a very scarce resource to use in desperate situations, 
that kind of takes away the bullshit of AI suddenly deciding to ram you off the road without changing how you play the game, you know? Yeah, that's a shame they're unlimited. They, they, they should have the option to limit them. An option to turn them off, an option to have three, an option to have five, and an option to have unlimited. I think that's the play. I'm just going to keep my reward points. Oh, you know, just there's no reason it has to only be three or five, but you know the point I'm getting at. Yeah, but the, ultimately, unfor the unfortunate thing is the fact that you know they're there could change how you play the game. Even though you are trying to be a good boy and use them sparingly. The truth is you might throw that percentage send that you may not otherwise do. Because you know you can re always rewind. That's just how it is, right? Vinny, mm, nothing weird going on here. So uh, the only way. He's dogging. Not trying to head back to Yokohama, are you? The fog is too thick to leave now. The mountain roads might be too dangerous. Try leaving in the middle of the night. I know that too. Do you mind coming back with me? I'll lead the way. You were doing the big sense anyway. Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing my league race last night, but I know I was driving a bit soft. <laughs> my favorite team, Baylor, homeboy from Yokohama. I can't believe me. Haru lost to one of you. Wasn't Iki even a drift dancer back in the day? I saw you back there pretty fast yourself. I wish I could get to see you race against Iki, though. Racing the Yokohama GP, right? Don't tell the other DD guys, but I'm rooting for you. What do you know about Malibu Wilder and his Yellow Evo 2000? Have seen around. That thing is a speed demon. Malibu is the fastest cat around. They say it won't appear on the roads before 2 a.m. Look at that. It's 2 a.m. right now. You're racing Malibu? I've got to see this. The dude is a legend. Came here with a 30 Type RS that was tuned for highway driving. Where it didn't even matter. He beat the best racers on the mountain with it. Just three nights following a crimson noon, he became the legendary racer in Hakone. To get an Evo 2000, he's even gotten better at two gay racing. 2K is what we call racing on winding mountain roads. Okay, that's enough. Not yet time for bedtime stories. Let's dance the night away. Now this, um... Do you know anything about this game, Crack at all? Or would you like me to tell you? No, no use breaks. Okay, so this is from Squaresoft. And this is their attempt to combine a racing game and a JRPG. So it's a super elaborate long story. Uh, there's level up mechanics, there's upgrade mechanics. But there's also racing. It was only released in Japan. But about two years ago, 
a fan translation patch was released, which is what I'm playing now. Because I'll be honest, I was without it, I would be super dreading this game. I'm sure you can see why, because it is very wordy. I, and I would have just been fumbling around using Google Lens, trying to work my way through, you know. Final Fantasy Racing. Yeah. Yeah, that is it. Furious. You know, you're just thinking of the creepy horror because we're up a mountain pass. But that's, if you've ever watched Initial D, that is just them following Initial D. I mean, for the love of God, the initial car is an 86, the iconic car from Initial D. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the big problem with this game has been just how drawn out the story delivery is. And I've said this a couple of times while I've been streaming this game. I believe it highlights the difference between a translation and a localization. There's, there's no way anyone would have appreciated like in the western audiences either european or american this game would have got torn to shreds for the volume of dialogue between the action <laughs> maybe No, they are like a family. But oh, Jesus. <laughs> they never shut up about it. Early on in the game, I'm, I'm sure you don't, I'm assuming you don't mind uh, spoilers of bits we've already covered. But uh, early on in the game, we are racing a guy from a rival gang. And the race will kind of cut off halfway through. And if you're behind at the halfway point, you just kind of get kicked out until it's restart. But if you're ahead, you trigger the next narrative step. And... Yeah, yeah, they are. The uh, previous game ended very conveniently. Yeah, and the person I was racing had a big, horrible, nasty accident and was hospitalized. And you would have thought they were best friends forever because it could, it queued 20 minutes of soul searching from our character. Jeez, it's like, mate, you've just met and it wasn't your fault. You were in the lead. <laughs> it's not like you shoved him into the barrier. Stars are beautiful here. That's so much closer than in, ever did in Yokohama. It's because you're in the in the mountains, love. It's because you're closer to them. You and Iki have been busy, huh? Where are you going to head back? Like, oh, yeah, first night of the game, she got captured. And we had to hunt down, rescue her from some miscreant's car boot. It'd be a shame to leave so soon. 
We never get a view like this in Yokohama. You know, back in the day, an old lady from the countryside told me a story. She said that the dirty air kept people from being able to read each other's feelings. If I ever felt a pain in my heart, she was there to listen. Finny, is there anything on your mind? You can tell me anything. Kyoji's accident was such a shock. How have you been dealing with it? I was the last one who ever spoke to him. If only I could have done something differently. If something was fated to happen, we can't hold it against ourselves, you silly goose. Now get over that close best friend of yours who died two nights ago. Every little thing that happens from babies laughing to losing a friend, it all happens for a reason. The reason is because God's a dick and to put him in his place, we need to ascend the heavens and beat him in a car race. Yoji's death. Makoto's death. You're telling me they were just inevitable? I don't think I can see things that way. I can't just sit on my ass and watch my life get torn apart by the tides of fate. I need control. That agency over our own lives, we're just puppets on strings. So let's take it back. In the newspaper last night, the curse of Yokohama's fastest legend. What do you know about it? Tell me. It's a strange story. Nobody knows who set those records or if he's still alive. <laughs> I know, pain in my heart, heart attack. Get me to the hospital. Other drivers he raced with are either missing or dead. Then one day he just vanished without a trace. Or so they say. Nobody knows the details. It's a creepy rumor sewn together from hazy bits and pieces. That vague story is all that street racers have to cling to. The story is twisted and warped over the span of te ten years. But there must be someone out there who knows the dark truth. It's a curse that's been left to fester for 10 years. Maybe it's better left alone. If we could have avoided the temptation, maybe all this would never have happened. Um. I don't know, Krakaton. I kind of hope. I kind of hope that there is. You think that someone's left uh, uh, has a connection to those events? A uh, source of the curse. Someone. Or something. Might not exactly be what we call a person. Construction in Bay Lagoon kept being halted by a series of unnatural accidents. Back then, the news terrified me. You're about 18 now! That building was getting constructed when you were 8. Some things in this world aren't meant for us to intrude on. Bay Lagoon has a dark and mysterious history. Anything could happen there. It was crazy, but her words were getting through to me. The warning signs were clear as day. Street racers were cursed. Cursed by God. Something doesn't sit right. Iki's been acting suspicious the last few days. He must have noticed something. Try not to worry about him. I'll let you on an itsy bitsy secret. If Iki wins the Yokohama GP, he might actually go pro. One tech is putting together a team of the world's absolute best drivers. There's been a lot of rumours recently about their dick project. Dream team of Formula One racers. One day, there was this black limo parked right outside Iki's apartment. Everyone was sure he was being scouted for the dick project. But since it isn't a done deal, Iki doesn't like to talk about it. You know how he is? I'm trying to rationalise the things I'm hearing. A sense of Yuka's wild and fantastical theories. But hell, she was right on the money! Yokohama's fastest legend! 
must rear its ugly head. It must be buried once again. How to go about doing that? Better get a shovel. I had no idea. For the time being. It's easy to put the squeeze on the Kaisuke Ishikawa. He's probably the only pawn in a much greater scheme. But outside of it, we were lost. We weren't going to get to the bottom of this without some kind of plan. Who could we even turn to? It's like putting together a puzzle without knowing where the pieces are. <laughs> Talking about Sonic again? Yeah, I've never... Oh no, I did play Sonic CD, but it sucked. I bought it on Steam, and I don't think I got to the end of the first zone. All of a sudden, I felt a wave of anxiety come over me. Like if I let it go now, I'd never see her again. But Kenzo and Yuka, my mind was screaming at me that they were in trouble. Can't be. It was the same sickening feeling I had felt with Kyoji. It was overpowering. Shit, shit, shit! Not now! Manabu Wood just showed up in his yellow Evo 2000. What should I do? Um... battle. My head isn't working right. I'm sure the feeling will pass. Can't have any regrets. This feels meaningful. I don't like that. Um, I mean, it'd be rude not to. He's right here. Don't tell me there's an actual fork in the story. Yeah, uh, give you a quick synopsis of the story. It starts out as you know a bunch of street racing gangs being a bit big bunch of street racing gangs, but then there's the accident. Oh, what the hell was I doing? I didn't care. I was worked up. Felt like a starving hyena. Right in front of me. By the juicy wildebeest with an exposed flank. Dormant Emperor Fakoni. Iki's old mentor, Manabu Woda. If I'm gonna go in for the kill, now is the time. I was ready to take the stage. I deserve top billing. Do I even believe that? Maybe I need more convincing. I'll, I'll pause it a moment and finish my synopsis. I had to try and strike out on my own. It's a matter of pride. God, this game's woke. That word has started to weigh heavily on me for the first time. That same weight was bearing down hard on the accelerator. My tires cried out in agony as I snaked up the pass. I've been sarcastic about the woke thing. Yeah, I am pro woke. God, I can't believe I'm having to say that. But it was just there, the word pride. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, finishing synopsis. So, yeah, yeah, we. Uh, so, first night, rival gang kidnaps my future girlfriend. I rescue her. Second night, there's a bit of a peace offer. I race another member of their gang, and he's in a near fatal incident and gets hospitalized. Um, cue a lot of soul searching. Uh, stuff goes down. We get involved in the qualifiers for the Yokohama GP. Also, I catch up with an old friend, but the old friend's acting a little weird. 
Um, I do the qualifier for the Yokohama GP. Then old friend appears and is looking a bit sick, a bit like a zombie. We have one final race, but then the next night he is driven into the sea and drowned because he was like under some form of fever. And then immediately after his death, we found out that the guy who was hospitalized also died. And then, so to get over it, we've come to the mountains to do some street racing, I think. <laughs> and Nicky's had a bit of history, like the leader of my gang, with the guys up here, which we're kind of dealing with right now. And I think that about covers it. That's taken me 15 hours. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Very little time passes. They will reminisce last night as if it was something that happened three years ago. I think I've done a good synopsis there. Or, or summary. Summary is the better word. Oh, fog. Can't believe this shit. Just had to show up. Iki squeezed his way into our race with his RS2000 Turbo. God, he was fast. Iki was always a red blur growing ever more distant. Dickhead. I didn't measure up to him. But this is our first race that blur has started coming into focus. The ocean between us had begun to dry up. The mirage had revealed itself. Just a little bit more, I could reach out and grasp it. It's all I needed to sustain me. I didn't need prizes or adulation. Soon, it would be mine. I was sure of it. Two years? Where does the time go? I'm an old man now. Look, I've started growing hairs on my chin. Why do you have to dig up this old fossil? You might be old, but age hasn't slowed you down one bit. <laughs> How's Yokohama? Did you ever find the fastest legend? Hmm? No. My friends keep dying, the selfish pricks. Let's get out while you still can. Forget Yokohama. Come back to Hakone and leave that nonsense behind. But it was you who told me about Yokohama's fastest legend in the first place. Now it's already too late. Yeah, I might have done that. <laughs> so tell me! What do you really know about the legend? There's no turning back for me. I can't get it out of my mind. I, I, I hear the voice. It's worms its way inside my head, and it won't stop whispering to me. These horrible words keep echoing in my mind. You're pathetic. Never was a fastest legend. Just tell yourself that and you'll be fine. Forget I ever told you anything. What about you, Manabu? Why'd you come back? You couldn't forget it either, could you? You're here for a reason. So stop pretending. Tell me. Please. Just tell me. in the mountains swelled into an abyss. Not a single one of us could find any words to speak. I 
That's what went down that night in a coney. Hackney? What the hell is going on? My hands clench the wheel in a death grip. I gotta feel the bird like that. I'm trying to keep my tremors in check. Geeky's talk. Taking point. Talking point? Leading. Oh, taking point. Leading. Leading us through the pass towards Tune Shop Windy. Heard him say it. Clear the day. I hear the voice. Oh no, he's he's got the zombie disease. The voice could have been saying one Kyoji heard. I just said that. Is this all I'm good for? Chasing Iki's tail lights. Alright, I'll be dead soon. I'm gosh darn useless. Iki. Why didn't you tell us? Have you been hearing it like hearing it this whole time? Living in fear. Suffering in silence. No, that's bull poop. Hiding in fear. That's not Iki. He's been fighting alone. That's that formless voice. Yeah, you're probably right, Shadow. I, I was theorizing earlier to Navis that this game would be about. 10% what it is without all this fucking narrative. June shot windy. After speaking to Kuniteru, Iki spoke a few words to me and then disappeared into the night. It was only a few scant words, but they were so fantastical I could hardly believe them. Hey, Sport, what's the matter? What's the matter with you? That's a big deal if Iki thinks you're the bee's knees. Tell you what, I got a present for you in the garage. Come here and have a look. By the way, for anyone who's not joined in on the vote, uh, we've got three options for game 140. We've got Wipeout, to a, Wipeout 2097 as option one. We've got Crash Team Racing as option two. Option two, I can't talk anymore. And we've got Rushdown as option three. Ooh. A gift from Miki. Hey, Sittles. Sleeping in Windy's garage was a GT spec racing machine for the Yokohama Grand Prix. It was like something out of a poster on Kenzo's bedroom wall. The right to drive this car was bequeathed to me from Miki. Iki was going to drive his RS in the GP. Said he had an attachment to it. All he said to me before jumping in his car and driving back to Yokohama. And that wasn't all. My own car was going to be overhauled at Windy as well. Why would he do this for me? That voice. The voice that brings death. And the Yokohama GP rolls around. Who knows what it will do. Is that why he's giving me this race car? He even put my car in the shop. So I couldn't refuse it. What a bell end. Even to the end, Iki is fighting his own battles. I can't help but feel that way. He had this beautiful machine waiting for me here and he never bothered to tell us all I could do was wait for the answers to these pressing questions oh I've been looking for a new career maybe I do need to do audiobooks thank you <laughs> sorry to interrupt I could I borrow you for a minute take a lap with me around the block oh, I was about to take the Zeta out for a little drive 
or want to take her for a spin. Alright. Now, she's my precious darling, so I'm only going to ask you once. Be gentle with her. That car had 10 years of wear on it. The steering wheel marks all over it. But there was a rich history imprinted on it. I found myself taking a nostalgic turn onto memory lane. I was struck with a sudden case of déjà vu. Well, I thought I was going to have a test drive in the GT. Oh, it's a bit spongy. Piss and shit. Okay. I'll have to cut the wall. Nothing's going to top the yacht game music, is it? Oh, can't skip it. Nikki had already filled KT in on the happenings in Yokohama. Everything except how Nikki had begun hearing the voice. I had to respect his choice. Nikki wasn't letting people know. I wouldn't either. I told myself. It happened 10 years ago. When it's Zeta and I, along with that bastard Manabu, were in our racing prime. There's this one outrageously tuned Zeta 3000 driven by Yokohama's fastest. You mean Yokohama's fastest legend? No, Yokohama's fastest delivery boy. That's the one. Him and the Zeta 3000 became a legend, and well, it's still told to this day. It had a pitch black body that blended into the darkness of night with a horrible metallic sounded moufle. An unsettling arrow kit almost looked as if it was some living bait beast. Diablo tune. That Zeta 3000 was possessed by a demon. They probably weren't too far off. Gemma already did the monster racing game. Yeah, that is literally the only uh, Halloween con concession I could do. But yeah, I'm, I'm not a big horror boy anyway. It's fine. Didn't want the races to get in the way of the story. Yeah. <laughs> it's a visual novel with uh, occasional racing. Diablo tune. What? Those cars and the demons that drive them have this sickly black aura to them. A terrifying car? It was Diablo Zeta 3000. 
every racer who touched that black magic wound up dead in a freak accident. As if the Diablo Zeta 3000 could drag them down with his dark powers. Must race with unimaginable speed. I really want to beat God in a race. Icky showed me pictures of an accident. It's a blue seven that had driven into the ocean. The OG could it have been? That's his best mate. That's right, I recognise the rotary engine. It was the same one his brother drove. JT, a seven had been Diablo tuned. It's been ten years. Whoever's responsible for Diablo tuning those cars has hell to pay. Ten years ago, to make it sound like it's Perthanol. We all have one or two things that we regret. Things that keep us up at night. Diablo tune is mine. It's a cold, dark memory that I've carried since my youth. The fuck? I missed my chance to make a difference, and I can never forget that. Let's celebrate this new knowledge by going for a nice little race. Sorry, I must have been talking your ear off. I'm letting you drive that GT racing machine. Okay, so I was driving his car to prove I was worthy of the GT. That's fine. Ten years ago, I built her to take on those Diablo-tuned monsters. I was just a wee little upstart mechanic back then. A friend of mine had gotten into an accident with the Diablo Zeta 3000. Those Diablos have been a splinter in my mind ever since. If I win the Yokohama GP, could I make a difference? I wonder. At the very least, a part of me can find rest. She can make it to that podium. I never thought that Diablo tune would make a comeback. What I've told you are just memories from long ago. There's a real chance that there could be a Diablo-tuned car in the Yokohama GP. Thanks for listening to this old man and his stories. Right, the sponsor of the Yokohama GP must be involved. Like, one tech? They must be involved with Diablo Tune. Calling it now. That settles it. Bring home that trophy. It's just a dang gold race. Win, and you can call yourself a real ass street racer. This is how they all prepare for a big race. Hold in all those emotions inside you. Then blammo! Let it explode all over the streets. Prune juice style. I don't want you to leave any regrets behind. For everything you got into it. Prune juice what style is what I take from it. <laughs> then come back here win and I'll let you know the whole story that must be something different Siddles <laughs> fella I'm sure you don't need a promise to me to get you to win tomorrow I'm sure you've made a promise to some pretty young missy along those lines already no but I abandoned her to raise the yellow car bean bag don't forget about us over in this world. Once you start racing at the Grand Prix level, you'll see the other side of speed. If you're not careful, it'll whisk you away. It will call to you with its voice and lure you into its unseen darkness. Speed? Me? Not interested. Game 136. If you ever start hearing it, Try to remember my warning. The people you've shared a promise with will be waiting for you to earn that victory. They're the ones you can count on to always have your back. And I'll 
to be here too, waiting. Ah, they don't use a sentence when a fucking chapter will do, will they? The night is complete. Psh, nap time. <laughs> I've never seen Speed 2. It's the cruise ship one, hence the name Cruise Control, isn't it? I don't know who the fuck Ryan Philippe is. Anyway, excuse me, it's story time. I had that dream again. That same sinking feeling of being trapped under the waves. Stuck to the seafloor by some tar like substance. Perhaps tar? It clings to every part of me, holding me down. I struggle hopelessly as it drags me down. Time slows down to a crawl. Past, present, and future lose shape and meaning. Don't come in here with your fat skin. I can barely keep my eyes open. Through the cracks, I catch a glimpse of Iki. But I can't move to chase after him. What's happening? What's happening? Why do I dream of this? Been a long week, mate. The last few days have been a pure madness. The life of a crazy driver could just be the stress getting to me. But deep within my subconscious. Another explanation dwells. S P E E D S P E E D ba da ba da ba da He was S super speedy he was P Particular he was E extra racy he was E extra speedy he was D Let me feel it. Grant me speed. I hear it calling. Voice from within. One that's getting louder. <laughs> Uh, Siddles, what you are seeing is the bastard child of Final Fantasy and Ridge Racer. <laughs> it is a Squaresoft game. They wanted to make a racing RPG and the tagline is high speed uh, racing RPG or something uh, there we go no no high speed driving RPG and yeah it wasn't a massive hit They o it only got released in Japan the only reason I'm able to play it in English is because two years ago a group that does kind of, well, semi-professional fan translations covered this game. So I gratefully gave them a tenor, because they have saved me a world of pain.
But yeah, um, I've said several times tonight, I'm going to say again for your benefit, we're seeing tonight the difference between a translation and a localization because the fucking dialogue just goes on and on and on because I think they've they've not just trans they've not translated literally out of choice I think it's because of the kind of patch that they've had to do every text box in the original probably needs a replacement one in this so they can't just trim a couple to make it a bit more you know English and so it just fucking barrels on and on and on North Yokohama, Yokohama GP, Grand Stand, 10 a.m. I mean, I I'm super grateful. They've done an incredible job. You know, it's not their fault that the dialogue goes on forever. The translators, you know. I, I do mostly love this game. I just, I just wish it was a bit less drawn out, dragged out, you know. And they just streamlined the narrative a bit. Brilliant. I mean, the guy who did the soundtrack of this, I think uh, his biggest credit was Final, Final Fantasy X-2. He did the soundtrack for that. I only very briefly looked, like, looked it up. Can't speak with any authority. Don't need to look back when you know that you're yeah, the fastest racer skin. Also, none of them have uh, rear view windows. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree, I agree, Krakatoa. Give it a test run, I've not driven this car yet. It also got me thinking, um, like any modern racing RPG, it's all just kind of Fast and Furious racing culture bullshit. I would love a modern, like semi-realistic, semi-arcade racing game with a big, ridiculous story that's just better paced than this. You know... I, I think that'd be fucking great. I I, I don't know, it's a GT something. I think it's, you know, a fantasy car of some description. This and shit. I'm not used to this at all. I'm sufficiently warmed up. There you go. I'll let you have a little look, Shadow. Go on, move on.
Was I? I wasn't paying attention to that. I was just getting a feel for the car. It's uh, not as agile as my 8.6. because I tuned the fuck out of it. Finishing the top two to advance. Best of Street Warriors. Sponsored by OneTech. Oh, really? I don't even get tuning options on this, so... You know, it's all down to me. And shit. Hey, Dragon Fax. Yeah, you just get gifted this when you hit a certain part of the story. You don't have to build it yourself. I might be able to upgrade it in the future, but I think you just have to go in to this race with this car as it is. Going back to what I was saying earlier about a modern version of this game, in the first stream, like one of the elements of this game is basically cruising around town and challenging passers-by to street races. There's a big loading screen every time you do it. Between world map and race map. And if this was like, just even on the PS2, if you could have been doing those challenges, and then basically racing on the same map, it would have made such a difference to the, how well the game flowed. <laughs> Exposure is the world's favorite currency. Another two laps is quite a long race, this one. And the other cars are making me think I'm meant to drift this. Which is just silly. But I keep trying. Second was in sight, but then purple has just made a nuisance of themselves. Now, you saw what happens when you try and drift an LMP2. They end up pointing the wrong way and they get in my way.
I had to go off track, and the guy who was chasing me overtook both of us. It's most inconvenient to end up losing to that guy. Well, I can probably blame more my poor traffic handling than that one safety off track I had to take. We got Mozport in two weeks, that'll be interesting. Do not have a fucking clue how to overtake on that track, as everyone knows. But at least we'll have GE3s in the way and two pit stops to try and play some shenanigans. Dick wank. Car there, mate. Eh? All of the time, you have to leave the space. I can get in someone else's way. Well, I spent half my race in someone else's way. Remember what happened to poor Albert Prier? And he ended up finishing third. And he spent half his race following me because I took a short first pit stop. <laughs> I probably cost him second place. No one was touching that leader. He was a mile away. It's the last lap, I think it is. That's a bit spongy. Anyway, it was 7th place yesterday, so target for more sport for me, I think, is a top 6. Definitely something I worked out on the first stream of this game. Drive conservatively. Because the punishments for a bit of a wall ding are very high. And yeah, it's more more time to be had by doing it clean. So slowing down your ridiculous the game actually be say I I think both happen, Shadow. The, the the amount of slowdown does depend on your car as well. You know, the acceleration will compensate for that boo-boo. Come on, get some story. Do you do much drifting? Depends on the car, depends on the track. Well, there's a big initial D vibe to elements of it, so whether it's practical or not is one thing. I think the designers wanted it. But when the punishment for dinging a wall is so high, I'm a bit... I, I, don't, I don't really want to, you know. Because if you're drifting, you're a little more leery than traditional racing lines, and surely you're going to be risking a walding more. Come 
can't wait to punch God in the face with a car. Dathio Kahama, Club Glum Slam. He's late. Where the heck is he? Finny, we all promised that we would be here to celebrate. Yeah, going to how long to beat? We're about at the halfway point, Dragon Facts. But I haven't been doing a lot of side content. The curtain had closed on the Yokohama GP. It was over so quickly, I barely felt satisfied. As our one and only goal, we would go next without it. When the checkered flag was swung, I could see what lied beyond it. Brilliant sunshine. I'd waited so long to grasp it, but it was a bit hot because it's the sun, in it. But it wasn't in my hands yet. Maybe getting faster was its own reward. That's all there was to it. The fastest are respected, feared, and idolized. Maybe I could be content with that. Go in for more than contention, mate. <laughs> Finny! Yo, Finny! Get it together, man. You're capable of so much more. Vinny, you need to be faster or you'll end up like us. Shut up, dead friends. Do it, Vinny. Become the fastest legend. Let me taste it. It defines me. I am nothing without it. What would I be with my without my eye racing seventh place finishes? I James getting more fucky. It's wrong. Stop that. Finny! What the hell's gotten into you? Shut up! What am I doing? What's happening to me? Me, Finny Driver, the hero of the piece. I feel a pain in my fist. Apart from all that punching I've been doing, and then a pain in my jaw. But my tears. Feel them forming, but they aren't spilling out. K1 Highway, round midnight. Oh, grant me more speed. Let me feel the rush. Tenders and fakes. Leave the hall. Speed is mine to main. No one will dare stop me. Death, filth, unworthy. Voice. Who could it be? Kyoji had begun to hear a voice just before he died. Where is it coming from? Am I hallucinating it? I hear it in my own mind. This voice isn't me. It's going to happen sooner or later, Skin. I'm driving like a maniac. Maniac on the floor. And I'm driving like I've never driven before. I'll only stop when I see the sky brighten. Something had changed within me. Was I being forced to drive? Or was I in control? I just kept driving without knowing the answer. K1 
cool. Another save point. All we've had since the last two save points has been cutscenes. <laughs> um, we've started hearing the voice shadow. Also, I quoted the song Maniac, but replaced the word dancing with driving. Oh, we're back in the 8-6. Nice. South Yokohama, Bay Lagoon, 5 a.m. Hello, Ricky. Any supermodel pose on your car? Nice. Nice thighs. Just you and me, Vinny. Let's race until the sun rises. I always knew this day would come. Time and battle versus Iki Fujisawa. Yeah, the story's picking up pace at least, isn't it? I think Iki's not going to survive this race. Because he started hearing the voice before I did. Then I'll be the king of the gang. Yep. A bit of Sapuku, this is Sapuka. Ah, oh, piss and shit. <laughs> oh, thought I'd overcooked it there. It's fine. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Games Collision Detections, but I think that was meant to be a forced narrative overtake. So he had a demon tune. I'd seen the scene before. Like a broken puppet, he lay there, unmoving. Called it. Well done. A fine victory. Just shut up. 
Shut the flip up. Finally. Relief. The horrible voice. I don't hear it anymore. The voice. I was so scared. No matter how fast I raced, I could never escape it. It chased me wherever I ran, wherever I hid. I would, it would never stop. I was so afraid that there would be no one who would catch up to me, to pull away from it. Icky, I... The sun's starting to come up. It reminds me of something. Like the Newell, or Dawn, or the Morning. I thought if I could race fast enough, far enough, I could outrun the morning sun. I didn't want tomorrow to come. That's all I was racing for. Sorry. But it's over for you. You hear that voice now, don't you? You'll never escape it. Yoji couldn't. I couldn't either. I started hearing it the night that Kyoji died. The voice had chosen me as its next target. It told me that if I was fast enough, that if I won enough, it would be over. I believed it. I just wanted it to be gone. But now here I am, lying in the street next to the burning ruins of my vehicle as I bleed slowly to death. And all I've got really left in my life is to tell you this story in as long a winded form as possible because as soon as I stop telling this story, I'm going to die. So I do apologize for being entirely long winded, but you know how it is? I've got to save my last moments as I can. I do hope you got no... Uh, morning appointments Vincent because you ain't going anywhere mate because I just wanted the team to be safe I'm sorry Vinny that's loser talk you're cool you're strong you wouldn't give up like this Niki stay with me don't leave me all alone sorry skin let me, let me think. Come on, Icky. That's enough. Pull it together already. <laughs> Funny, huh? You pretending to dead in that big pool of blood. You are always the one to talk us through our own problems. I, I, I'm scared, Icky. I'm going to cry. I don't want tomorrow to come either. now. What a guy. Ace River. What a guy. Yokohama's fastest legend. A cursed legacy. Ten years ago, when I was eight years old, I wore that title. Okay, that was someone else talking. This is the voice, I think. I was the fastest legend. Or so I was told. Fear in the voice. They called me crazy. They would watch me with terror in their eyes. The night is completed! No! The night is not completed. Got a phone call. I bet my girlfriend's been captured because I went playing race cars instead. Vinny! They've rushed Iki to the hospital! Oh no, she's fine. Vinny, hey, so, uh, listen. Now Iki's gone, do you want to go on a date or something? Where are you right now? Are you alright? 
please, please don't go anywhere. Vinny, we need you here. I threw my phone into the ocean and ran. Ran out of shame of the plastic pollution I had placed into the sea. It sank to the dark sea floor. I was going to find a street and ride it as far as it would go. But god damn it, I went into a cul-de-sac. I had nothing to lose anymore. So many questions you have to answer me. I need to know. Who are you? Who or what are you? I am you. I am Yokohama's fastest legend. How long have you been within me? I have been with you for three days since the very beginning. So more like two weeks, actually. Liar! Why have you been silent until now? I don't believe you. Um, no, you can't be there, mate. Why are you here? Um, I've not decided, to be honest. Staying quiet. How did you get inside me? Nose, mouth, or bumhole? Uh, you've had your question, mate. Leave me alone. Are you the voice? Are you the same one, Kyoji? You keep the hearing. That's rubbish. She's not answering anything. Why won't you answer me? Why are you doing this? Why did you choose us? Eh, uh, dunno, mate. This isn't a joke. Answer me. Gosh darn it. Wait, don't leave. Come back, voice that's going to drive me to death. Don't leave me. Can't select did you kill my friends? Are you going to follow me? Mm, maybe. Not answering. Then what do you want from us? Did you kill my friends? I killed them. How did you do it? How did he cause Kyoji's and Iki's crashes? Answer me. I don't stop you. Will we all die? I'm 
night is completed! Really not doing much racing. <laughs> This nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I. It, it's not the story that I've got a problem with, Krakatorn. It's just the pacing of it. You know? I, I do really enjoy the vibe of the world, the aesthetic, and, you know, the story does have me engaged. But it's it's a lot, a lot of narrative dumping. But, uh, yeah, according to How Long to Beat, this is the 30-hour game. And 25 of those hours seems like story. It's strange, but my mind is totally lucid. I'll tell you what, before I progress this, I'll... I'll, I'll just just in case you want it there's the link to the translation patch get bookmarks and then forget about it forever or something I don't know anyway it's strange but my mind is totally lucid the voice seems to have died down because I gave it a good telling off. Right now, I feel like myself. I'm the one in control. I'm starting to lose my sense of time. Minutes, hours, days. I can't keep track of it. I felt like I could drive for an eternity. The voice inside my head. The voice that no one else can hear. The voice that Kyoji and Iki probably heard. I can't tell anyone about it until I know exactly what the hell it is, which is definitely not the same mistake my two dead friends made. This thing was capable of jumping between people's minds. Then we're probably all dead. Ten years ago, it was Yokohama's fastest legend. That's what the voice was claimed. The only lead I had was back in Hakone. There are some people back there who seem to know more than they let on. It wasn't much, but it was all I had to go on. Let's go on a road trip! South Yokohama, our home, our street. Start in line for this sordid story. Our own twisted legend of speed. On these streets we thought we called home. For it's thousands of people living thousands of lives. I find myself feeling alone. It's thousands of cars, all waiting for me to steal their engines. Do any of our mindless conversations really reach our hearts? Maybe I wasn't quite human anymore. 
I was something more primal. The starving hyena only focused on its next kill. That was my true self. Did I just get back from there? Um, not quite, Skin. We came back, then we did the Yokohama Grand Prix. Then we raced, raced our friend and watched him bleed to death in our arms. And then there's been the fallout from that. In gameplay terms, I think we've done a race since we came back from Hakone. I think I've put an hour on the gameplay clock. <laughs> Where was I meant to go again? Check in with these guys. I was never going to hear Kyoji's joy jovial voice ever again. Business resumed as usual here. The memories of him will fade over time. Flowing sands of time will bury all that's left of him. Hey there. Whoa, you look like you haven't slept in weeks. I finally filled in Kyoji's shifts with a new part timer. Woo, it's tough being the boss. Oh, welcome. Oh, jeez, oh man. Okay, I'll try. Right, so he said I needed to go to Hakone. So do I need to go to North Yokohama and then go through the toll gate there that was previously closed? I think I feel like it wants me to do the rounds here. But that's uh well that's a shot, we can skip that. I don't want to change my body. My body's fantastic as it is. I, I, let's go and see what these, what were they called again? Vinny, you and I need to have a race. And we've had bad blood. There are some things I need to tell you. Look, I messed up. I've been acting whack. But I'm actually one of the good guys. My brother's gone nuts. He's cray cray. Can't keep going along with him anymore. You've got a lot to answer for. Like capturing my girlfriend. Well, I started because of your damn showtime. Let's start talking. Take a look around. The night racers have called Honmoku home for generations. Now it's freaking empty, man. The whole squad bailed on us. Bro. Hurts. This is your own damn mess. Didn't your stupid plans cause all of this? Uh, showtime. It's just be my brother's catchphrase. Now he's over at the highway area to try it for Kanto's fastest unit. Leave me. I was going to tell you. I even snitched to Kenzo before Kyoji's accident. But he was useless. Then he never wanted it to be like this. Oh, it would be too late for me. Need to know if I can ever take it back. My innocence, my Junjo. Uh, is that what is? Oh, that's what's innocence is what's written on his shirt. Okay, you gotta race me, please. I'll be out loud in CVCs. If I had one same as me, do me a solid, just this once. Okay. Bro, thank you. You and Kenzo both. I'll never forget you guys. <laughs> uh, 
I, I think that might have been a choice by the translator. The calm, stiff sea breeze shakes the entire city. Whoa, you're a cheating little gobshite. This is tuned. No, it might just be a little bit of a... Yeah, fuck that. Now that gap's opening. Give me a slower car. The guy's a beanbag. I can't drift. That's okay, we've got another lap. We can bring this back. Gets it off the barrier. This could be on. That's mince beefed. Oh, I fucked it. I double fucked it. Triple fucked it. See if he gives me another go. I did save. <laughs> Loser. Yes. That's pretty rich talk from the world, world's worst golfer slots. Come on, Vinny, get your head in the game. Have joy in a victory against an opponent who was just dragging his bum cheeks. Let's go again. How you doing, mate? Still unwell. Mate, I think, all things considered, I'm doing okay because I have just had the most, probably the most bullshit four days of my life. And here I am. So, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm also glad that I didn't pick up your lurgy, you bastard. Like I did in Blackpool last time. Because otherwise you'd be fucking up my trip to Blackpool tomorrow. I ended up having a week off work with a chest infection after the last time. <laughs> Uh, 
surface. Oh, let me let me defeat this evil devil. Oh, understandable. Besides, you saw me play on Sunday. <laughs> oh, of course, the bigger draw this weekend would be the Play Expo, wouldn't it? There's no restart from the menu. Not the best crack at all. There you go. It's just keep challenging, challenging me to rematches until I stop sucking. It's fine. Fine, Shinsuke. Right, Shinsuke. They do paper skyscrapers now. Right, I need to stop using the handbrake in this car. That's what that corner just taught me. Handbrake is fine. No, it's not. Maybe handbrake there. The mini maps are in this aren't the best. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Very nice. Ah, oh, piss and shit. I literally just need to take it a bit easier and I'll win this. Keep it out of the wall. Be sensible. But it's not great for visibility. These weird corners. You got a little fence there and then you got a bit of a barrier. I mean that one's not as bad, but <sighs> You see, particularly at the end of the big straight. It's like you see the end of the inside barrier and then there's kind of a dead area in the middle. Where an apex should be. I've been going tonight. Three and a half.
I really want to win because he's a gobshite. Don't think about the house. It's fine. Fuck's sake. Just let me ding off the wall once. Doesn't even that harsh an angle. Just kind of bury into it. Let's use all of our strength and have no regrets and win the championship. Thank you. I needed that. Oh, I needed that. But the big one is the corner onto the big back straight. Cautious. Wow, there's no visibility. Even though I didn't ding the wall, I was still too wide there. Fucker's fixed this, hasn't he? One ball, then he can fuck off. Now they get close ones. Ah, oh, but it's just such a draggable ass, I can't help it. Get away with that. <laughs> I'm onto the stuff. Ah, oh, piss and shit. I just want a restart button, man. Give us a restart button. I could save state it. I'm not. There's no retro achievement, so I'm not on hardcore mode. I'm just out of the habit, I guess.
Let's fix this. Frick. in the game for my alcoholism. Oh, there we go. If I start nailing manoeuvres like that, I'll win it. And the key is... Just keep it in the middle. Just keep it in the middle, keep it away from the fences. It'll be fine. Hurry up. I don't know why it insists on that little bit of replay every time. It doesn't let you skip it on. Notice how undragged my ass will now be. You fucking dick mountain. wasn't enough. There's just no visibility around there. I can't gauge it. at this game, not better. Gosh, give me a restart fucking button. In fact, excuse me guys, since there's no achievements for this, I can do this. What keys? What have I got set? It's been a while. Five is save, one is load. Well, bang it. I try and avoid them, but uh, you know, in this context, all I'm up skipping is a bit of menu bullshit. So. Is what it is. I have speed up as well, which I'm now using. Uh, yeah, you don't you, like that. Manual saving is genuinely not a thing anymore, skin. Oh, well, thank you for the uh, quick visit, Neri. I, I hope you're doing well, mate. Good night. Ah. 
Ah, okay. See you around, mate. Oh, I need my manual gears back. Damn spec car. I'm just a little fucker. I've got hiccups, whoops. Beauty. I assure you, Siddles, definitely, unequivocally, no. It's not a sa particularly satisfying handling model. It's not the worst, it's not the best. Notice in there, a lot closer that time. Thank you, mate. By the way, if you haven't already, guys, and you're interested in my music career, follow the Paul Taylor Experience on Facebook and find out who our new band announcement for my music festival in February is. This is getting announced tomorrow. Gen Celeb Con. Or Genuine Celebrity Convention for Long. However, it's listed as Gen Celeb Con, so you ain't gonna find anything with the long version. Piss and shit. That was almost. Super sweet. Bad news, Slops is playing. Well, good news if you're that way inclined. Pretty bold statement. Such a late apex. That's how I need to think about it. Think about it as one blind corner. Oh, for fucking shit and piss and bees. Cheesy bees.
especially good to do charity work as you describe it. Right, so someone who drives you to half of your shows. You ungrateful fucking git. <laughs> Oh, fucking piss and shit. I didn't have a fucking lane to attack in. And I overdid the fucking... Have you ever wondered, Slops? Why on a racetrack? At some point, parts of the track, they have kind of soft barriers, like tile walls, and at other bits, there's just metal fences like what's on my left right now. Reason for that is that the soft barriers can bounce a car back. Now, if you reverse that train of thought, the hard barrier, and you know, it's what you get in the middle of the motorway. The idea is if you hit it, you're just meant to kind of go along with it and just kind of keep traveling in that direction, which is why the hard barriers, so there's no bounce. I hit one of these hard barriers and I just kind of stop. And so I'm inclined to say, fuck off game. Because if it was a soft barrier, bouncing people into the middle of the road, that's a danger. I'm wasting too much time on this optional quest. Of course, when you leave a hard barrier in the wrong place where you should have a soft barrier, you end up with Bahrain 2020, Roman Grosjean. Oof. Generally one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen on live TV. Uh, because I can. Genuinely. You know when someone challenges you and you get a bit, bit obsessed? That. Yeah, you know half my option there was that I couldn't see the end of the road. Because if you notice that the barriers are loading in before the road surface in places. <laughs> and it fucks my sense of distance. The guy did kidnap my girlfriend on the first night of the game. Can't let him go get away with that. 
It's trying to be all pally now. Like it's no big deal. Handling's too washy. Make it easy just to sling it up the inside. Anyway, watch me sling it up the inside now. Yeah, get fucks mince meat. Got this, babe. It's fun. It's meant to be equal cars, and look at him drive away. But the guy's a bell end, so clearly he's given me a gimp car. Because it's a bad act. That makes it more satisfying when I win, right? Doesn't it? Narratively. I'm on auto gears. I would rather be on manual. Are you like the music of the music that goes on? <laughs> yeah, because I've brick walled myself like a dick man. It's okay. Start win race, then get story. Stop distracting me. <laughs> How bold of you to assume this beanbag has a girlfriend. Ah, 
fucking handbrake blank fucking map fountain. <sighs> yeah, I need another beer. How are you? Some wide. Aye. Fucking sunk cost fallacy. It's the same bullshit that kept me in for those fucking house purchases when it wasn't right. So like, oh, I've invested this much time. Let's keep going. All right. I'm sorry I didn't deliver satisfaction before bedtime, Krakatoa. But thank you for hanging out, mate. Have a good night. I'll see you again soon. Next one, next time, gonna win. No worries. Thank you. Hi. Adequate first lap. Sub so one minute eight. Barely. It's the least adequate of the adequates, but adequate is adequate. This and shit. Last one. I keep saying this. Last one. The twelfth time. The last of the one.
Oh, there really is now this. I say the last one and I am definitively full of shit. What's the handicap time? Just notice that above the speedo on the right after the launch. Am I genuinely being delayed to make a race of it? Okay. Oh, so I was slow to get away. And it's like a giving them a chance bonus. Give them a chance and still win. Oh, wow. I hadn't so much just noticed that before. Generally because I'm not looking at my speedo on the launch. You know, it took me 16 hours. Spot it there. I know gears still work even though no, it's an auto gearbox. No, I need this for you, don't I? So I can block. No, I don't. I'm not used to it. Ah, oh, shit off. <laughs> Just shit off. I do it to myself, I do, and that's what really hurts. Ah, fuck off, I'm just done. Done with these shitty green cars, not interested. Let's go back to being sad. And that was it. What? That was the last time I ever saw Shinsuke. What? After our meeting, he just disappeared. like the racers 10 years ago quit racing and left the scene it was good that he got out while he still could Kenzo was pretty bummed about it couldn't judge him Looking back, after everything was over, our meeting at Honoku Wharf, was the first farewell of those last four nights. Didn't realise it at the time, I was going to be saying more than a few goodbyes on my two week holiday to Yokohama Jinsuke has left Kaisuke is still as dangerous as ever we have to put an end to his showtime now Was that race ever winnable? 
Nah, surely it was. I fucked it up at the end there, but... I, I, I'm immediately sat here now wondering, does that little bit of story beat we've just seen play differently if I win? Or was I just wasting my time over nothing? I don't know. What I do know is I need a quick break. So I'll be right back. Alright, I just posted that comment, maybe not by an FAQ, but I'm not trying, maybe by an FAQ, but I'm not trying again. Then I stepped away, it's like, why would it keep inviting me to retry if there was nothing for the win? Oh my god, I'm going to have to find out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. His pride is at stake. Ah, <sighs> why am I like this? A steak? <laughs> is it a fun steak date? Steak? Watch. I can't let this beanbag get away. Now 
might have a fanny about with the camera just to get the rear view mirror so I can block it. Ah, oh, what? That's the slightest little graze and bonk. Slow down, dickhead. I think so. Nine, maybe nine. They said four nights left. Not sure how many nights there are, but yeah, four nights left. So it's one or two more streams, I think. It doesn't help them pissing me away my time on this battle, but. What am I like? Got this, babes. Fine. I just grip up a little sooner before I inevitably slide into that wall. I'm making up time there at least. around there. Right, he's getting collision privilege there. More so than none. One oh six point five, that's a really good first lap for me. Yeah you know what, I, I I need to stop thinking physics. I just pressed brake all the way through and I got incredible grip. Fuck off! <laughs> There we go. Fuck off. Cheese, cheese the fuck out of the shitty collision system in this game. But fuck it. If they're going to tie a hand around my back, I'm going to use everything I've got. I've been a total dill weed. This has already been worth it. Oh, fuck. Oh, man, this is it. This is what it felt like back when I was first starting out. Ugh, racing is so much fun. All right, now it's my turn to help you. Ask me anything. 
I'm an open book. <sighs> this was worth it. You know something, Vinny? We've still got our whole lives ahead of us, all four weeks of it. People are going to walk in and out of our lives. There's no way we can remember each and every face we meet. My dumbass can't, anyway. I'll never forget our battle tonight, the days when we put heads on the street. I made a promise to you, but it's time to come clean. Ask away. What is showtime? Showtime is just Kaisuki's catchphrase. Bagging Yuka. That's how the show got started. Remember right? When Akira lost to Riki, thought we had a chance to take over the night races. Kota was in the way, but my brother had his own tricks. He came with a plan to kidnap Yuka. Oh, don't worry, we're, we're going to do nothing to her. The things took a turn. We stashed Yuka in the car and hid out at Rajrenga Warehouse. And a whole bunch of black limos showed up. We hid in the shadows and peeped at their meeting. A foreign guy with sunglasses. Goddamn foreigners. <laughs> and this middle-aged dude stepped out of a limo. Along with a whole crew of men in black. Kaizuki said he smelled cash. He's got a nose for anything that looks like easy money. Anyway, we were trying to sneak in a little closer. And one of their bodyguards spotted us. I thought they were going to slap the cement shoes on us. We freaked out and bolted back to Kaizuki's grassy. Started the engine. But it was too late. The limos had already surrounded us. They dragged us out of the car. We were ready for the worst. That's when the foreign guy in the sunglasses spoke up. He said, you two, you're from the night races, yeah? Oh, the German. You know the ones called Vinny on team? He said your name, bro. We were totally stupefied. But we told him that we knew who you were. Because we did. And then he said, well, would you be interested in taking on some lucrative side work? We didn't know what he meant at first. It was sketch. Let's all get out. Oh, the side cut. I think that's a consequence of the upscaling slots. The cut line, rather. I.e., they're basically just pasting a different bit of image over that bit of image for the talking. And, uh,. It never showed up in original, but now we've upscaled. That little seam has appeared. <laughs> uh, sunglasses banned in Japan. Thank you for the knowledge, Skin. I'll bear that in mind when I visit for my world tour. Hey, mate, play Skin. Welcome back, mate. Their muscle was sitting around grinning with their eyes. Oh, man. It's cold as ice. And they were willing to sacrifice our love our options sucked if we said no we were boned and if we said yes we were still boned but then he told us how much money he'd pay us the work was easy just wanted us to introduce him to our buddies he said he wanted fast racers who were struggling to reach their full potential And he said we could get a bonus if we brought him racers who had battled you. You'd double our payment. You know, I always had a feeling there was dirty money pumping through the get reward system. People were gambling on our street racers. If a rookie like you kept winning races, it would upset the odds. He agreed to his deal, but now that I think about it, it was deal with the devil. That's when our showtime really began. Okay, hey, Makoto's accident.
can't believe me. We had no idea what was going to happen. When we said showtime, we were just trying to get you going. We needed you to upset the odds. Would have been bad for us otherwise. But Makoto can still be here if he'd been more careful. When we asked him if he wanted to shave his times down, he was all ears. All we did was take him into the warehouse where the limo guys were. We don't know what happened to him after that. When Makoto wiped out, we freaked. Then that sweet dough rolled in. And we were hooked. It's Kaisuke's link to Kyoji. Kyoji was the same story. The night after the Yokohama GP deciding race was set, Kyoji called. All we had to say was, Diablo tune. So that's what we did. There's a piece of cake. Just rolled up to the gas station and dropped the name Diablo tune to Kyoji. The guy's eyes changed color. But yeah, Kyoji was easy. There are two types of people in this world. Uptight chumps soon never get ahead. Let's let few get with the times and make it. That's how we justified what we did. I mean, that's the way of the world, isn't it? Right, what's Kaisuki's link to Setsuji? We made contact with the Grand Tourers when the highway opened up. Setsuji was the perfect mark. His old man runs the bets on the street races. He wanted to expand into South Yokohama. We wanted a foothold into the north. It was a fair deal. Went off without a hitch. Both parties made some sweet, sweet profit. That's all Tetsuji has to do with this. We didn't tell him about the limo guys. We weren't going to let anyone find out about the Ace of Power sleeves. Kaisuki told me to keep my mouth shut about it. So I did. Your link to Kenzo. Who's Kenzo? Me and Kenzo are just buds. We first met at Muroyoka's. He was about to scrap a used CVC. We both wanted it, so we raced for it. We had the one car, so we took turns. But both of our times were <laughs> laughably shit. After that, we said fuck it and played rock, paper, scissors for it. It was an intense three rounds, but Kenzo won. He was so damn happy. And I must have looked miserable. Ever since then, he's the only one I've had this connection to. I wonder why that is. What is Kanto's fastest unit? C1 Roadstars built an army of the fastest racers. We're having an event tonight. Probably going to be a disaster. My brother wants to use them to break into Tokyo. And it's Wantex Elite Racing Program. They're in scouting drivers for the Yokohama GP. Actually, they recruited Kaisuki. Recently, my brother's been driving a Diablo-tuned car. Dum dum dum. That's a death sentence. I'd had enough though, so I got out. I don't know much about it. We sent Makoto and Kyoji to get their cars Diablo-tuned. Aside from that, there were only rumors. After my brother's car got Diablo-tuned, he came ungodly fast. And the voice. A voice? Yeah, I hear one. It's wrong. All he race for his money nowadays. Try to remember the joy of racing. The voice of regret that I hear from within. Ah, how did I end up like this? I had the most fun when I was just winging it with my beat up CVC. I was barely scraping together enough RP to get rewards. How about it, Vinny? I think I can never go back to those days. No, because you're a beanbag. Bye! Is that all you wanted? I understand if hearing all this made you furious. You don't understand anything that we were doing. I just wanted to feel important. I felt it felt intoxicating to be cool for once. You weren't cool. You can't believe me. You can't believe me. You're a beanbag. And that was it. Okay, same cutscene. I just didn't get to ask all the questions when I didn't win. That was the last time I ever saw Shinsuke. 
After our meeting, he just disappeared. Just like the racers of 10 years ago, he quit racing and left the scene. It was good that he got out while he still could. But Kenzo was pretty bummed about it. I couldn't judge him. Looking back after everything was over. Our meeting at Honnoku Wharf. It was the first farewell of those last four nights. I didn't realise it at the time. I was going to be saying more than a few goodbyes. Go to the graveyard. Where the cool kids hang out. Yo, a spicy new rumors. Have you heard about Kanto's fastest unit? Oh yeah, I heard Gamu K Kizunoki of the C1 Lord Stars was up to something. He drives a hella tight 33 Type R with C-Car Aeros. People see that thing and line up to join in droves. Ah, oh, they're meeting up at the C1 Highway, ain't they? Kaisuki was on his way there, C1 Highway. C1, C1. Speaking of him, he bought another new car. He didn't even bother giving Shinsuke his old one. There's some brotherly drama going on. I heard Kaisuki is driving a Diablo tuned car. That crazy tune shop is back in business. Diablo tune is nuts. Every detail about it is shrouded in mystery. We don't even know what it does. Where they do it. Oh, so uh, who I gotta go to to learn more about it? Hell, I don't know. All this stuff is just rumours and legends. Man, we get left out of everything. We suck. <sighs> uh. Let's go to Sharon's house. Yui, you did so much for me. We've been through so much together and shared so many happy memories. But it's time for me to move on from street racing and Yokohama. It's been two whole weeks after all. And it's only so long before fate catches up with me. Have we been holding you back from something? Well... God, her eyes are mental. Yeah, I've got this whole future in hostessing at the local fast food takeaway. It'd be a shame to waste it on street racing by crashing into a lamppost. It's been my dream to be a beautiful blushing bride. So, have you found the right man? Not quite. I guess I'll have to start looking. <laughs> oh, Yoko. I'm serious, okay? Vinny, were you listening? Tonight will be Yoko's last ever street race. Okay, armor will never be the same. You'll join us, right? Yeah. Can't refuse something like this.
Oh gosh, is that Sam? <laughs> One more big story beat and then end the stream, I think. Uh-oh. Once in the middle. Bonk. Everyone, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'm going to be an ordinary little lady. If you ever see me again, call me like you always used to. You can be married and play race cars. Not that I'm an example. As a, you know, incredibly single man, but... Whatever. Ooh, minus 30. Boink. Okay, so later chassis and engines have more potential levels. I'll just take them from that. It's Finny. The G -g 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 Grim Reaper. Yikes. He's chaseable. Oh, they are. Leave us alone. I don't want to die. Everyone you race has ended up in a twisted wreck. Sent Icky to the hospital, didn't you? You left him to rot after the accident. Please just let us go. Let us get out of here. No! <laughs> Chase him down. Right, I've got a massive power advantage and he picks a course with one corner. I should have given him a head start. Get those extra reward points. Right, did I just call up a uh, passerby and this wasn't even the guy I was trying to chase? Nice tree skin. I think I just call it a passerby. Yeah, I wasn't even them. That sucks. Where are they? They ran away in the sight of my car. Looks like the slowest racers are going to start avoiding me. Now how am I going to rack up loads of easy wins? Oh wait, hello guys. <laughs> it's the bear, the goon, bad boy. We ain't scared of you like those yellow bellies. The blood, birds of wang and gale are always ready to get a freak on. 
but um, bum, the two big brothers can hold the candle. The real stage, though, so Wangan Highway. Yeah, I wasn't working. I had to bail. Ah, he's blood red bastards again. <laughs> I think I battled these before and... No, no, I kind of... I intended to come back after collaring some upgrades. To fight these beanbags. And... I forgot. God, we're nearly out of race. This isn't even a full. Nearly. Oh no, we got one more corner. Ah, I fucked it. Close. Closer than the green bean bag. The first attempt. Okay, the next map to go ECU. Don't need that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry it up. Yep. Uh, yeah. Genuine celebrity. Used to it. Some genius. Yeah, they do that. Wow, I did not turn. Okay. Another lap. No, no, it's just this lap, isn't it? This and shit. <laughs> Get better on my first attempt. Damn one lap races. Don't even get time to settle in. No, you trigger that encounter. They don't just jump me. Um, oh, God, they need my mufle. The first time you visit the radio tower, there's an event with some guys who run away because apparently I'm cursed. If you do it again, 
as I've done twice now, because I hate having car parts, it seems. These guys jump me. Condition destruction. And, you know, after each defeat, I could just walk away and move on with my life. But apparently, <laughs> I can't because <laughs> I'm a beanbag. I, I, I boffed best part of an hour doing another optional race earlier, which just gave me some story beats as a reward. There was quite a few story beats, so it was fine. At last, I just sometimes kind of get into these. Challenges. Oh, what the hell happened to him? One of them just stopped, it seems like. Uh, I don't have to win. Oh, God, I just got shoved into the wall there. I have to beat one of them. However, if they're in the lead, then out of the three of them, then yes, I kind of have to win. Yeah, the other two are definitely playing wingman. Fuck off. Uh, right, I'm gonna drop a I'm gonna drop a safe state on that because oh, I didn't even steal anything that time. It's just that I have to trigger the event every time. It just takes a moment. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Which one was saved? Shit, I've forgotten which one was saved. Oh. <laughs> one was load, five was saved. There we go. Every... Go on! Ah! Squeezing bastards. Oh. That did not go to fun. Shit. Works. Body shiver. Play. 
Oh, I've already got one of them. I quit one. That was not worth the time. <laughs> Unless I get a story beat. No! There was nothing. Wow. Paul, you're wasting your life, lad. I got to nick apart, but they'd had two off me, so it wasn't a worthwhile trade. <laughs> the old grimy port, ancient bay. This is where we started hearing voices. It doesn't surprise me that I'm seeing things. It's there, in the light. Reason. Bell end is the voice showing me this? I was trying to get inside my head. Is it yours? Where does the moon go when it sleeps? I don't know. That's right, I'm a standout racer. That's what I've been told. Cheers, Slops. Have a good night, mate. Catch up with you soon, bud. Hope you feel better soon. Right, where have you not been? Go up here first. Right. Stadium. Stadium. It's always just events here. Good evening, Mr. Driver. Everyone's calling you Grim Reaper, Shinigami, Demon. But we know it's all baloney. We believe you're innocent. Don't want to do your shitty endurance races. We're friends, right? That means I can give this to you. Do not lose it. Studless Tires Snow Road? They've got snow in this. Uh, we've got new lightweight and heavyweight URs. Unofficial races. I join in. Nah. In bags. Go to the diner. The Motomachi. I can't believe Yoko quit working here. What the? It won't be the same without a Big scoop, fellas. Iki Rex is kia. No street racing accent, innit? It was he racing. Apparently, they just left Iki to rot and books it. The number of accidents are spiking, but damn cops won't do anything about it. Your birdie told me that he was racing Vinny. I wonder, is this car Diablo tuned? This go ultra fast, right? I wonder why they called it Diablo. I heard the legendary tune shop from 10 years ago is back in business. Don't want to go fast, but that Diablo jazz is too hot. Skibbity doop bap. Had to get out of there. Guys at Johnny's weren't going to listen to reason. I have to bring the truth to light myself. I wanted to clear my name. Even if following the truth leads me deeper into this endless nightmare of two weeks. It's just the fucking bank. 
I can trade some reward points with Jens at least. Welcome to Wakaba Bank. Super Father the Night. the rate today. Oh. 80. That's the best I've seen out of the three rates I've seen. I think for the rest of the street, I'm just going to finish this map. Visit the locations. And then start the next stream by visiting North Yokohama. The hospital. I assume Iki's there. I don't think he's dead yet, is he? Room was filled with naught but a heavy silence. I will be here for 20 minutes now, Dragon Fax. No one spoke a word. Each person was an island unto themselves. Completely closed off. Completely alone. I had that dreadful feeling. How good of you to come. <laughs> Thank you very much for the gift, though, Parnell. Really appreciate that. Hey, oi. I, I'm sorry. Vinny, I understand. Please accompany me to the roof. What happened next was difficult to describe. What are you doing? Let me tell you a story. Long ago, I was just a little girl who'd never learned to love. I kept going with her story. One day I found myself with someone I cared about deeply and held tightly. I couldn't tell her. It meant anything as she just wanted to take her mind off things. Oh, that's really sweet of you, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's <laughs> been an awkward week. It's been an awkward year. But, you know. Just... Just... <laughs> it's what it is, unfortunately. One day, he just vanished from my life. After a while, it was like I couldn't even hear a... He perished in a tragic car accident, as if the voice had created a filter over my ears, blocking her out. It was some crazy shit. The voice held this power over me. Was it listening to her in my place? nodded my head and mumbled some vague assurances the way I would. wouldn't notice anything. You know, just general man behaviour that, isn't it? <laughs> Pretend you're listening. <laughs> I finally took back control. The story was over. Oh, Vinny Driver, you're such a good listener. Sorry, I'm tearing up. The story brings up a lot of sad memories that you've not listened to, you typical man. I convinced myself it was best not to give. Hey, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I got told a stream or two ago, and it's gone. Another thing to worry about. 
I did my best to pretend I've been listening the whole time. The roof of the hospital provided a breath breathtaking view of Yokohama. There's a vast blanket of darkness studded with tiny specks of the city's lights. Within the dark abyss inside me, there was also a faint, quivering light. The light? Oh. <laughs> now, partner, I'm going to Blackpool tomorrow, mate. I'm going to use your gifts up to buy myself a rum and raisin ice cream. Thank you, mate. Keep sharp. Nah. Wait, wait. No, oh, this is the this is the plot point. This area is off limits to unauthorized personnel. We're doing important road work, you see. Can't come this way. Yet. Yeah, I haven't I haven't finished my tour. Yeah, test course. Schmess course. Those rumours, they aren't true, right? You didn't show up to the hospital yesterday, you silly goofball. You wouldn't pick up your cell phone either. <laughs> I, I could have sworn someone picked up the, the cell phone and it was a fish. He threw his phone into the sea like an idiot. Vinny, we were so worried about you. Can you tell me what happened in Hakone? After that night on the mountain, you've seemed... Not quite yourself. Not myself? Thanks for the concern, but I don't need you to speculate on my behalf. But, but, Vinny, you won't tell anyone what's going on. I, I know it can be tough, but you don't need to do this alone. We can help you. Please just let us. Talk to us. Let us know what's happening so we can be there for you. Idiot. Mm, nah. It's not that simple. Finny. Please. Don't go. I feel like everyone's drifting apart. Especially Icky. He's not spoken to me for days. Every meeting ends with a parting. That's how it's always been. Vinny, we need you to come back to us. Please promise me that you will. I know, I know. You want to keep up your tough facade. We'll be waiting for you here, Vinny. I'll be a bit lonely without you, but I'll manage. Still training, right? Check out my car. Okie dokie. Your car deserves 11 points. The car needs work. This clunker is way too embarrassing to be driven by your car as fast as legend. But don't worry, you got a mechanic that's as skilled as she is cute. I'll tune it up until she's Yokohama Zumiya Speedster. So. Come back soon, okay? Alright, last place is Ziki's apartment. Ah, piss and shit.
Ah, oh, this handles so much nicer than those cars I've been grinding with. Wait, 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 no, 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 that last race was with this car. I'm, I'm full of shit, guys, sorry. Definitely handles better than the green machine. I'm just going to take the RP. Lights are out on the top floor. Both Iki and Aoi. Aoi? Aren't going to be back there for a while. The place is too big for one person. It'd feel empty on that big waterbed. Everything in there would just remind you of him. Well, that was well worth the trip. I'm just going to save up and call it a night there. So we've cleaned out South Yokohama. So for the next stream, North Yokohama and then the Mountain Pass. I'm pretty sure the next story driver on point is in the Mountain Pass. But the game wants you to do the tour. So I'm going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, while well, I save up her. Uh, um, no, she's not in love with me. Shocking, I know. But no, she's uh, new to the job because she replaced my dead friend. So it is just uh, new job nerves. What's that? So yeah, uh, let me just update the vote. Our votes today, we have had one vote for Wipeout, putting it up to five. We have had three votes for Crash Team Racing, taking it from 16 to 19. We had two votes for game three, putting it from 11 to 13. So that's a nice, healthy six vote lead for Crash Team Racing. Um, tell her straight up and fly right. <laughs> you tell her. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go and bully that poor girl. She's new to her job, man. You meanie. Yeah, so next stream is Sunday. Um, I definitely can't stream Friday or Saturday. I definitely can't stream Monday or Tuesday. And you know what? I just said next stream is Sunday. I can't even promise that because uh, everything's fucking kicking off at the moment. And uh, yeah, if I get from back from Blackpool to Knackered, then nothing's going to be on. But if it does go ahead, I'm not even going to promise a game because I'm getting back into iRacing at the moment, and it's the last uh, last night this week I'll be able to do some racing on that, so maybe I'll do that. So it'll be either that or Racing Lagoon. But if you are enjoying the stream here, whether it's sim racing or my PS1 content, please consider giving us a follow. Try to keep up with me outside of the stream. I have a Discord for that sort of stuff. As ever, I am very grateful for all of your company, guys. Um, I'll wait and see what's next in my life. I, I'm assuming I'm going to be in this flat for at least another year now. But uh, and I'm just I'm just kind of hoping for some resolution 
because yeah i'm i'm sure everyone who's checked in over the last eight months is sick of me hearing of oh i could be moving in the next two weeks but right now i'm clearly not i just need to know <laughs> do i need to go house hunting fast or not i'm assuming i won't <sighs> yeah have a, have a great night guys have a great weekend i hope to catch up with you soon good night